Coupon codes are super useful on a website if you're selling products or any kind of service. What you can do is enable people to click on it and apply a discount. However, there can be a problem when people have to write down the code and then add it in and they might forget. Well, how about we give them the facility where they can just click like that, it copies it, and they can now paste that into their checkout. Let's do that. Once you've got unlimited elements installed, you want to go over to widgets and then type in coupon in the search box and then go and install it. And inside Elementor, you'll now have the widget available to you. Now I have an example page here. This could be a pop-up, it could be a page, a section, anything you want. What we're going to do is drop this coupon in just over here. And what we now get is coupon code. So I might want to change this now and put in a bespoke code. How simple was that? But we can go further. So when someone clicks it, what is the message they're gonna get? We have copied over here and we'll keep it like that. We can even align it. So is it gonna be on the left? Is it the right? Of course, don't forget when you're in Elementor, you can do custom width and things like that with positioning as well. What about the timing? Now this is to do with how long the successful message pops up. So when you click it, at just under two seconds, it will then disappear. And we can also add in an icon, so let's change it. I'm gonna go for the gift one. Let's insert that, and we now have our icon in as well. What about the animation? Now, when you hover over here, nothing is happening. We have a range over here, so you could have something like grow, so it grows on you. Or how about something crazy like pop? I'm gonna leave this just as grow for now. Now, in terms of the attention grabber, this is um, almost in terms of how does it appear when you land on the page or when you've scrolled down to it. So if I go and do something like this with spin, when you first roll onto the page or scroll down to it, it will do that, the spin effect. And that's quite funky if you want that. Or maybe you just want to keep it simple and just have nothing on there because we've already got the grow. Now, what you will want to consider, though, is the styling. And it kind of goes without saying that coupon codes generally have like a dotted or a grooved or a dashed um, uh, border going around. So we're going to go for dotted. Now I'm just going to do some really quick styling. So for the text color, I'm going to make that white. And for the background color, I'm going to make it be fully transparent like that. And for the border color over here, I'm going to make that be white as well. Then obviously we also have the, the success button. So what color will that be? I'm actually going to go for a black and we'll leave it as white uh, for the text color there. So let's preview that in action. We hover over it, it grows, I click it and it has the word copied. The options for customization are almost endless and it's so wonderfully easy to use. You just click it, it's copied, go over to your checkout or anywhere else and now paste it in. I hope you start using this with unlimited elements. This is the coupon code. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Start using it. Thank <laughs> you.